Hey guys, somebody uh, somebody said to me the other day, they said, what is your most favourite part about being an online reseller? And I said that it was this moment right here, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing it really well. Thursday morning, trip to the thrift. It really is my most favourite time of the week, getting out into the op shops, showing you what they go on to sell for on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Guys, I've spent some time in Sydney recently, and my goodness, it is good to be back in my natural habitat. I know that there are some great prices out there, and I know there's some really good items, and that is what we're going to go and uncover today. No guarantees, but I've just got a very good feeling about it. Let's dive into the first one. Hit the like button to show your appreciation for these trips to the thrifts. And fingers crossed, we can kick things off with a bang. We'll see you in the first thrift. Oh man. All right, guys, first op shop of the day. We're done here and I've got so much stuff. I'm going to fly through this because I really want to get on to the next op shop. There's a lot in here to take you through. So let's quickly go through it. The first thing that I've found here is this North Melbourne windbreaker jacket. I love finding sporting gear of any kind when I'm out in the thrift, let alone a genuine North Melbourne Canterbury windbreaker jacket. Now, this one was a really good one. It was a size large. Um, this one would probably retail, honestly, for about $120 if you bought it out of the North Melbourne footy shop uh, or anywhere sort of where you can get your AFL merchandise. A very expensive jacket. I've paid just a couple of bucks for it. I'm going to try and turn it into $60. So that was a really good pickup. A bit of a sporting theme, actually, in this op shop, which was kind of right up my alley. I found an LA Clippers just playing t-shirt nothing fancy about it it's a size large but i just like that because there's a few clipper fans out there no doubt and a little bit scarce here in australia so i don't mind finding the u.s sporting gear um, i have also found this one as well exactly the same sports team the la clippers blake griffin number 23 now i believe this could actually be a genuine jersey it's a size large it is a swingman as well so you got the swingman plus two I'm humming and ahhing as to whether or not this is actually an authentic Blake Griffin uh, LA Clippers jersey. If it is, I'll get upwards of $50. If it's not, I'll probably get about $30 on Facebook Marketplace. Regardless, for $5, I was always going to be saying yes to that one. Uh, back here in Australia, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Let me know in the comments below, are you a South Sydney Rabbitohs fan? In the NRL, this was a really nice hoodie that I've picked up. I have paid up for it. I've paid $15, but I'm going to try and list this one up for $60, bucks and we'll see how we go. Hey, guys. I have found a brand that you guys need to be on the lookout for. You would have seen it there before. There's, there it is there, Moncler, Moncler. It was $80, a roughly $80 on pre-owned condition for these polo shirts. Just a ridiculous price for what is an incredibly plain polo shirt. This is a double XL in size. I've paid just $4 for it. And it's in like new condition. And look, guys, I'll put the comps up here for you guys to check out. But brand new, these these polo shirts, this brand Moncler can go upwards of three hundred dollars for for a polo shirt. Just crazy. Um, really happy to be back on the Gold Coast because that no doubt would have been about a hundred dollars in Sydney. But here I am picking it up for just four bucks, um, guys. One other pair of shoes as well that I was able to pick up. How good are these? They are in like new condition. I've got my running shoes back on, guys, and I'm doing pretty well here. I've paid five bucks for these. These are a US 8, and they are the ASICS GT 2000 running shoes. A very, very nice pair in excellent condition. So I'm happy to have found that. And then one last one, guys, just to cap off the uh, first run of the day. We've got the Hey Jack book series, the Jack Stack. I've been able to find 20 books of the Jack Stack right there, a complete set. This bad boy will go for 60 bucks free postage. I've paid $10 for it. So I might make myself about $25 profit there with the Jack Stack. Let me know if you found this one out in the thrift and sold it on eBay. Look at that one. Looks like a really cool kid's book. All right, all good. We're all done. 
stack of that. Oh, I've got so many items there in that first run, and I am super stoked about it. Uh, a pair of shoes, some books, a heap of clothes, some sporting gear, right up my alley. All cool stuff to sell. Let's keep moving. Off shop number two. We'll see you in there. Guys, off shot run number two, all wrapped up, and I've got a fair few things to take you through here. Uh, Levi Strauss to start things off. I've got the 522s right there, and I've also got the 508s as well. So a very good little get there with the Levi Strauss brand. $39.99 is the way I go about my jeans, generally speaking, and uh, I've only paid $5 a piece for those. Hey, I've also found this brand as well, Samson & Taylor. It's a Melbourne-based brand. There it is right there. I've got a, a car key distressed jogger pant here. Um, this is a size extra large. I've only paid the $5 for it, as you can see. Uh, 60 bucks on the tag. So we'll see how we go with these. It's going to be a bit of a fresh go on something new, which is not a bad thing. It's always good to try different things. Um, I've always found the G-Star uh, women's um, pants as well. Sorry, jeans, I should say. G-Star 3301. A great brand to be finding when you're out in the thrift. I'm always happy when I find it. 30 waist, 32 length on those ones. And then I found another great brand of jeans, one in the women's, one in the men's. Got a pair of True Religion men's jeans right there and a pair of True Religion women's jeans. So there it is there, True Religion. If you do find it, it is definitely worth your time picking up. Before I dive into the shoes, guys, I want to show you this book. I'm hoping I don't get burnt on the postage because it is quite a large book, uh, but Troubled Blood is the book right there. There it is. Been able to pick this one up for a dollar and uh, it was showing brand new uh, for about 30 bucks on eBay. So I've gone with this one. Um, if I do sell it for 30, I've got to take 20 off of postage, some fees, and I'm probably going to make about 15 bucks. But that's all right. We'll give that a go. We'll see how we go. Um, I've got the Ravina 5, the Brooks Ravina 5. They have a very nice pair of shoes. Six dollars. Are you kidding me? Welcome back to the Gold Coast, Matt. I'm very happy to be here. So those will go on to sell for a very good price. I'm going to push upwards of 65 to 70 dollars just because of the condition. The Brooks running shoes area is a very good brand to get your hands on, guys. A um, couple of really nice pair of Roshis. Um, so the Nike Roshi running shoes. Guys, you do see these quite commonly. These are both women's running shoes. So I've got a US 8.5 and, and a US 8. They are in excellent condition. And I generally sell these Nike Roshis for about $45 free postage. I picked these up for $8. So not too bad of a turnaround there. Uh, and then I went into another store and I also found these Stefan Janoskis. So a really nice pair of men's uh, casual skateboarding shoes. I did pay up for these. I paid 15 bucks. They're a US men's size eight, but they are basically, as you can see there, they're in light new condition, guys. So for $15, if I can turn them into 60, do the mass, it's probably going to be about a $25 to $30 profit. Not too bad for a pair of running shoes, skateboard shoes. Um, how nice are they? These. These are in, look at that, they are in like new condition. They are the Adidas I5923s. So they are just a very, very slick pair of shoes. They are a men's shoe. Uh, they are a US size 10 and they will go upwards of about $70, I dare say, for these. Just a really great pair of shoes. And uh, look, I did pay up for these as well. Maybe the Sydney price points are wearing off on me. I paid $18. For those shoes but if they sell for 70 i'm still going to get about my 30 dollar profit which is always what i like to get um so that was everything guys we've got four pairs of shoes a pair of books and a, a pair of books a book and a, a stack of denim as well for five bucks a piece so not a bad little run there let's keep moving option number three we'll see you in there
So I've made it back home, guys. This is actually just such a big pickup in this op shop that I brought it back home. I just want to take you through it back upstairs. So I'm going to head upstairs now and uh, I'll show you the stuff that I was able to pick up. All right, guys, so I'm back home. I just thought it'd be a little bit easier to sit down in the office and just go through the items that I bought because there were an absolute heap in that last op shop. I had to cut it short at three trips to three, three different op shop runs and I've come away with 17 items out of this store. So I'm really, really happy. I'll provide a bit of context as to how it went down. I was sitting at the front counter and I had three Billionaire Boys Club t-shirts and the guy said to me that there's actually quite a number of them out the back that he was yet to put on the shelf. And he said, look, if you wanna come out the back and have a bit of a look through, you can certainly do so and we can try and cut up a deal. In the end, I've come away with 17 items of clothing. They're all sort of t-shirts and vests and that sort of thing. But um, I think there's gonna be some really good value. I've spent $130, 17 items of clothing. So I'll quickly take you through them. I don't wanna take up too much of your time and make this too long of a video, but I'll quickly go through them. The first that I had here was seven Billionaire Boys Club t-shirts. Now guys, Pharrell Williams, Billionaire Boys Club, this can actually go for some really good money when it's in brand new condition. Fortunately, I've actually been able to find a few that are brand new with tags. And on eBay, some have sold for 70 to $80. So they are really good quality t-shirts and it is a very good brand to get. So I've got a big large double print here, uh, sorry, a large um, front print, um, cold breakfast on the back as well. I just think that's pretty sick. So that one is a size large. Every other size in these tees is a medium. Um, nothing really on the back there, just the word ice cream. And then uh, the big dog on the front there or wolf, whatever it is. Um, another one as well, same sort of print, just in red. Again, a size medium. Um, this one's got ice cream written on the back as well, which is kind of cool. And a big ice cream on the front, size medium. Uh, pick that one up. Another cold breakfast. Again, probably my favorite right there. Cold breakfast, new with tags. Big front logo as well. And then this print on the back is pretty sick too. That's kind of cool. Uh, with a big ice cream on the front as well. So seven tees. I think four of them are brand new with tags. Uh, majority of them size medium. And then I found uh, a bunch of like sporting gear. So like uh, US space, uh, US sport clothing. So uh, that's right up my alley. I love to buy the US sport based stuff. So to find all of this in his little haul, um, I wasn't going away without it, put it that way. Found this one here. This is a really cool Cavaliers basketball t-shirt. Now this is a size large. It's a Mitchell and Ness, uh, a very good quality t-shirt. I've got three starter tees. Um, so big starter logos on the back, starter uh, on the front as well of the tee. Um, just a small logo on the front. Um, actually, that's a front logo. Then there's these, which have got the small um, starter on the front. So I've got three of those, um, two black, one green. And then I've got a Brooklyn Nets as well. So this is a Brooklyn Nets, Mitchell and Ness, size medium. Love my US sports gear. So that one there. This is a New York Yankees, size large. So that's kind of cool too. That's a majestic tag. And this one's another majestic tag as well, large. And it's just got a plain Yankees on the front there as well, New York Yankees. So some very cool US sports-based t-shirts out of that lot. And then I found the last little run here of kind of more just jackets and um, vests and long sleeve shirts. This one was super sick. This is a Stussy size large, brand new with tags, shirt slash jacket. It's quite a heavy item. Um, but yeah, that one was super cool, camouflage pattern. Um, that'll go for about 50 bucks because it's brand new with tags. Um, this was the red label Levi Strauss jacket. It's an extra large, it's a men's, it's in like new condition. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I really like the color on that one. So that'll go for a pretty top dollar as well, I dare say. Um, and then I've also found this Stussy double print long sleeve t-shirt. So a big logo on the, on the back and a big logo on the front there as well. So. Really cool. I always buy Stussy. Stussy's just a cool brand to get. It does go on to sell pretty well for me, at least anyway. Um, this is a dries -a bone vest. Um, so I thought I'd pick that one up, dries -a bone vest. That's kind of cool. It's a size medium. Um, dries -a bone is just such a quality Australian winter brand. Um, so I've gone ahead and grabbed that too. And then this Nita Bas Pasadena. Um, I buy Nita Pasadena a lot. Um, there it is there, big, big back logo right there. And then a little front logo as well for the Nina Pasadena. So long sleeve, Nina Pasadena hooded t-shirt to finish. So 
Guys, a stack of items in that last little op shop run. It will be all going onto the website, thehouseofmumba.com.au. So if there's anything that you've seen out of this video today, hit me up on Instagram if you don't see it on the website, but I will be doing my best to get it up there ASAP. Uh, it's generally about 20% less than my eBay store. So if you're watching this, it's always best to buy off the website. So go and check that one out. It's hugely appreciated. Any support I get through that website is massive. So I can't thank you enough for that. That's everything, guys. I've got to put it all into the computer. I've got to start listing it all up. I've got to edit this video. A lot of work to get done. So do appreciate you tuning into this one. If you want to be seeing more trips to the thrift videos just like this, let me know in the comments and hit the like button as well to show your support because that way I know that you enjoy these sorts of videos. Um, so thanks very much, guys. Look forward to catching you in the next. We'll see you soon. Thank you.